Hello, my name is Erwin Tauen from In-House Engineering. And today I want to introduce to you the shifting sole. Standard running shoes like this one have got soles made out of EVA, which is a blow rubber. And although this material is excellent for shock absorbing, it does dissipate a lot of energy when you bend the sole. And that's where the shifting sole comes in. It converts the bending motion of the shoe into a forward motion of the foot. Here, look at this clip of a single step at the moment of push-off. And now in slow motion. First the heel strikes the ground. Then the foot is planted. Then the body moves over the foot and as the heel is lifted, the front portion of the sole starts to bend. This creates a stretching force in the lower layer and a pushing force in the upper layer, forcing the foot forward, which helps the runner to gain more speed. So let's have a closer look at this shifting sole. At the top we have the upper layer, at the bottom we have the lower layer. In between we have flexible walls keeping both layers together. And in between the flexible walls we have roll elements. The upper layer, lower layer and flexible walls are molded as one piece. That makes this construction very flexible but won't carry the weight the wearer. And that's why we need roller elements. These elements are round, flexible and are shock absorbing. The roller elements can be manually inserted into the sole. They snap into place and they won't come out while walking or running. Once all the roller elements are in place, the upper layer and lower layer can shift alongside each other while carrying heavy loads. So no matter if you're running on tarmac, gravel, grass or sand, the shifting sole keeps performing as it should.